Welcome back to the Crypto Report. I'm Black C, and I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin because the Bitcoin halving is right around the corner, guys, less than 12 hours away. What does that mean for Bitcoin? What does that mean for price action? We're going to take a look at that. So without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is 10 hours and 59 minutes away from the halving. It could be a few hours six hours either which way which end it's this is not exact but it's around that time so basically tomorrow for sure 100 percent the bitcoin having will have commenced i'm very curious to see how this plays out leading into this right now we are seeing a little bit of a bounce and this little bit of a range we've been seeing well now bitcoin is up about 4.5 4.6 percent on the day trading at sixty five thousand and sixty three dollars Bitcoin dominance as well, rallying just to be expected. But seeing some liquidity move into the altcoins is a great sign. That means money is flowing into the crypto space as a whole. It's not just liquidity rotating around in the market. But the majority of the money flowing into the market right now is going into Bitcoin. Bitcoin dominance trading at 54.45%. When you exclude stablecoins, we're, si we're sitting at about 56.5% getting closer, ranging back to that 57% uh, dominance level that we did break above very shortly, uh, about a week ago. But all in all here, guys, is what I've been saying. I expect this to play out just as it is right now. Bitcoin's going to make this bigger move around the halving, whether it's pre-halving, which well, it's only about 10 hours left at this point, or in the month or two following after, there's going to be a large move on Bitcoin and it probably will absorb a lot of liquidity, bring us up to maybe 58, 60% Bitcoin dominance level, especially if we see that larger move to the upside. So let's take a look at the chart a little bit. So right now we're looking at the daily. You can see this green candle bouncing up. People are excited, pre-buying the halving. Question is, will we see some continuation off? Pretty interesting to see a green day right now after the news of the conflicts going on in the Middle East. Pretty interesting to see that because <laughs> the move we saw to the downside, that little capitulation that brought us down to about $59,000, $61,000 area was because of the same exact thing. But now, well, now we're seeing a little bit of a bounce and that news isn't really affecting anybody. It's a, It was a quick panic sell moment, but we're bouncing. The question is, is the bottom in? I will say it does look like we're bottoming out here, but I really want to emphasize with you guys that around the halving, people could be buying in here. There could be some uncertainty. The S&P 500 is spilling over right now. Bitcoin is rallying against the S&P 500, which is very interesting. We're seeing the S&P come down a little bit. The trading on the S&P was halted last night in the 24-hour markets on Robinhood. Very fascinating. A little questionable. I don't know how I feel about uh, halting trading in a quote-unquote 24-hour market. Pretty pretty conflicting sentence right there, a 24-hour market getting halted. But I digress. The S&P 500 was halted last night, and we're seeing a bounce on Bitcoin during the trading day. I think that you're going to see more sideways price action here, guys. I don't think we're going to just bounce straight to the moon from here, but I do think that there's a good chance that the bottom is in. Sideways price action ranging between 59000 to 70000 If we get a break above 70 k we're probably going to break the previous high here at, about, at above 74000 so keep that in mind. But as of right now, we've held up above this trend line of about 59,000, 58,000 area. And I'm looking for consolidation with the move to the upside. Let's take a look at the weekly because I've been keeping a close eye on market cipher here. The 60 line, this white line right here, if we were to close below it, to spill below it, I would say that we're probably going to see a continuation to the downside. But we are still above it. We still have two days and 11 hours. And honestly, if we close above 65,000, we're going to definitely stay above the 60 line on Market Cipher. 
it'll manifest itself to be a little bit higher. But that being said, guys, the bull market's still intact. Things are looking good. Sure, the macroeconomics of the world <laughs> don't look too hot. Uh, there's a lot of concerning news shaking people out. People are panicking over war. People are panicking over inflation. People are panicking over the rates not getting cut for an extended period of time. The housing market is kind of spilling over a little bit right now. S&P 500 spilling over. Local top probably in for a little bit of time. But that being said, that being said, we are still in an election year. And I do believe that leading into the maybe the end of quarter three or even throughout quarter three is when you should see continuation to the upside, significant moves to the upside on the overall markets because leading up to the election, the markets have to look good, especially if you want to be reelected. People won't be having it. People will not want to vote for you if the markets are not performing well, especially if we start getting that recession talk and all of that mumbo jumbo, that recession that people have been calling for for the past 10 years. If that starts coming up again, leading into the election, that is no good for candidates. But that's just my two cents. Uh, if I were sidelined right now, I would have been wanting to be buying a day or so ago, over 65000 Still, it's a little bit not as attractive to me as when we dip below with some of these altcoins. Altcoins still have some time to recover. So if you're feeling underexposed, maybe buy some altcoins you feel underexposed on. I bought some Jupiter. I bought some more Solana. I bought some other smaller cap meme coins just for fun, but nothing significant because the majority of my positions I purchased in the bear market. And I've been offloading them on the way up. But guys, keep in mind, keep in mind, not financial advice, but the halving is happening in the next 12 hours here. Technically, after the halving is when we should see that really, really large move. So there's still time in the market for the bulls. That's all I got for you guys. If you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. Almost at 17,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for that, guys. Check out some awesome referral links down below. We have a $4,100 sign-on bonus to Femex. All you got to do is go below this video. There's a link in the description. You click it, deposit, trade a little bit. You get a bunch of free money. Also, go follow me on Twitter at 333BlackSea. I do giveaways over there. Give away CrowCoin, other crypto. It's a lot of fun giving back. Sometimes I give away NFTs. But it's a lot of fun. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.